what's your reaction to a charge being cited here? Yes, it, it, first of all, it's super unfortunate. And I, I steer clear of deciphering what people's uh, mental or approach is to this situation. Things were handled poorly. And obviously, Devontae Adams handling that poorly by pushing um, the guy down. And obviously, things come along with that. But also, um, a, another thing I thought about is when these guys are coming off the field, that needs to be clear. That needs to be a clear tunnel. So I'm not blaming the guy for getting pushed down. I understand Devontae uh, issued an apology. He's acknowledged that he's wrong for what he did. That's why the apology came right after. I don't think it was any mal intent on uh, Devontae's part. But these are the consequences. And, and two, like the realistic thing is when, when people, and I'm not accusing this guy or um, the investigation, but when people – know that you have a substantial amount of money and they can take advantage of that or they can in some way um, attach themselves to that based off your actions or something that you did. We live in a society where that is going to happen. And I don't know if uh, I don't know how this situation will play out in totality, but it, it's just a bad situation for Devontae that he probably didn't think much about and he didn't think all of this would come out of it. But this is the time that we live in, and he's a $100 million contract wide receiver. So obviously there will be suing come into play, and obviously the citation that we're talking about right now is just a super unfortunate situation that should have been handled uh, better first by Devontae Adams, but also I'm sure that the NFL is going to look at protocol when these dudes are exiting the field now as well. Okay, uh, I appreciate that sentiment. We don't disagree because you're right about everything that you said. But there's a couple of things that you left out, so I'll say it. Um, I ain't got to hesitate. I'm allowed to look and see something and, 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 and come to an opinion. There's a money grab. I'm accusing the guy that you're damn right it is, okay? You got pushed to the ground. You got right back up. And next thing you know, you at, the, you, you, you at the police department. And now, you know, you, 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 you filing some charges, okay? Please, ain't nobody foolish. It's a money grab. That's what it is, okay? That's a point number one. Point number two about... The NFL and its protocols and making sure there's nobody in the way of the players, that's, that's true, too. But let's also take into account that even though I believe this to be a money grab, the fact of the matter is, it's just my belief, the fact of the matter is, is that Devontae Adams had no business doing what he was doing, uh, what he did, rather. Let's make sure we say this about Devontae Adams. He's got no history whatsoever, any, any bad history. He's a good dude. You know, heart's in the right place, mm. goes out there, has elevated himself to arguably the best receiver in football. All of that stuff is true about him, right? This is just an unfortunate situation he found himself in because him and another veteran receiver and Hunter Renfro embarrassed themselves on national television by running into each other and falling down. So to try to, try to win the game, that got foiled. But in the end, here's my last point, Molly yeah. and, and Swagoo. And I want y'all to remember this. There is a reason. There is a silver lining here. Let me see Swagoo when I say this. I am, I'm not happy for Devontae Adams, but I'm happy this happened for one reason. To all the fellas out there, and I ain't talking about just professional athletes. When you got money and people know it, they will bait you. And I want everybody out there to remember that. That way... When you are out in public and you got to conduct yourself at all times in an upstanding fashion that doesn't put somebody else in a position to get your money. Because the money Absolutely. you're making is far more than the average person out here is making. And there are far too many people, as good, God-fearing, and decent as most people are, there are too many people out here who will do anything to get a piece of the bag. This is a lesson that all of those guys, you, me, and everybody in between, we all got to pay attention to it because folks will bait you if they can. Stephen, are you absolutely right. And game recognized game. Like, the, like Devontae Adams pushed me, and I'm, I'm moving forward with, with, with whatever suing that I'm doing. And, and I understand that. I'm just not going to get into the position of deciphering right. the thought of people. That's my number one thing. And then the other thing is what you just said is so important and poignant. Man, keep your circle small, bro. Like for, for all of these athletes, 
Make sure you keep your circle small and keep yourself around people that's going to be honest with that's you. That's it. Because a lot of things come out of this. And it's unfortunate that Devontae is in this situation. And I'm sure if he had to do it all over again, he wouldn't have the same action. Yep. And we can also we can also uh, empathize with the fact that this dude showed up right in front of him so he didn't know what, what was happening or transpiring in a heated moment. Right. But ultimately... That ain't gonna be a defense <laughs> when 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 people watch what they watched. So right. yeah, to that point, you just gotta be careful out there, man. Gotta be careful. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.